Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. So um, what we're going to do today is uh, there's a pressure conversions worksheet in your packet and uh, again refer to that worksheet and for the record it looks kind of like this right here and I only cut and pasted a small piece of it but basically along the top you'll see um, our reminder that one ATM unit is the same as 760 millimeters of mercury, which is equal to 760 tor. Remember, a millimeter and a tor are the same, which is equal to 101.3 kilopascals. And I'm going to uh, work through with you how to do number one on this page, and then the assignment should be posted for you to complete this page. As with all of these workbook pages, I think personally it's easier for you to actually write directly on the worksheet that I gave you and then to upload a picture of it. I will be collecting all of these once we are in school. Um, but again, if you wanted to post it on Classroom, the best way to go about that would be to take a picture of it because I don't think anyone has time to write all of these numbers um, in a Google Doc. But again, it's up to you. So, continuing. Number one on that page uh, said or asked how many atmospheres are 1500 millimeters of mercury. So we always start with the given here, 1500 millimeters of mercury, and then we multiply by our conversion factor. So this is just a new spin on the dimensional analysis that we've been doing all year. So we're going from one unit to an answer in a different unit. So we are going to multiply by a conversion fact. Our conversion here is that one ATM is equivalent to 760 millimeters of mercury. Again, when we do a conversion factor, you always want to put the unit you want in the numerator and the unit that you're given or getting rid of in the denominator and that way your units cancel. So here, millimeters of mercury cancels out, and we would be left with ATMs as our unit. When you plug it into your calculator, you get this number, which has a few too many significant digits. If we go back to our given, there was no decimal point here, so there were only two significant digits. Remember, trailing zeros are only significant if the number contains a decimal, there was no decimal, so our second significant digit here is the 9. We look at the number after it. If it's 5 and above, we give it a shove. This is a 7. Clearly, we have to give it a shove, and that would result in us rounding the answer to 2.0 ATMs. So that is my example for how to do this pressure conversion worksheet, and you are tasked with completing that worksheet. And again, I will be checking in with you. Please remember, if you have a question, you can email me or you can message me directly through Google Classroom. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.